what is going on a1 gang we're back with another video right now we have a 2019 qx60 the limited version take a look around the vehicle real quick hit the unlock button for y'all real quick so you got the big camera in the grill underneath there nice massive grill also this is a grayish color then you got the burgundy one right there just for y'all to like colors and all of that i know I'm, I'm a colorful person i like different color cars i don't like just bland stuff but um <clears throat> yeah you got the matching wheels with it as well and those are some um i can't even see that from upside down <laughs> those are some 20 inch rims that's on there as well so that's nice size rim on there you get the cameras underneath the door on un underneath the mirror i meant uh, you get the touch sensors on both the um driver side and the passenger side as well very nice suv it's also got a third row as well so those of y'all that got kids and all of that stuff too and it also has the entertainment package and it is all-wheel drive as well too as you can see the qx60 limited badging right there so let's hop into what we the meat and potatoes right here is what we're gonna be paying for this and the performance wise so you're getting a 3.5 liter v6 injection engine direct injection engine my bad 295 horsepower and 270 foot pounds of torque now this right here is gonna be the deal breaker for a lot of people which is that continuous variable um transmission which is that cvt so that right there you know cvt's <laughs> If you don't know what a CVT is, just go look it up and look at reviews and stuff on, on CVT transmissions that journalists and stuff have has written. Um, but yeah, you got different drive modes. You got standard sport, snow, eco, and that's it. Then you got the hill start assist. So if you're going up a hill, it'll help you, assist you in going up it. You got the independent front suspension and all of that stuff. And then let's get into your safety right here. So your safety, you're getting the advanced airbag system. You're getting the curtain airbags as well. You're getting the um, brake assist for forward emergency braking with the pedestrian detection. So if you, that right there, if you can't detect the, the pedestrian before you, you know, run into them, it's gonna stop before the end. So it's got to predict the forward collision as well. So say for instance, you take a peek at your phone, which you shouldn't be, it's gonna, break itself before the end and predict that you you know you wasn't able to break so it's gonna break for you. you got blind spot warning you got everything on this vehicle as far as safety features so base price forty seven thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars with all of the packages and all of that stuff which is the limited package which gives you all of that the stones you know stone semi island Anna Island however you pronounce that so then that brings your total to $66,020. And there's your warranty information down there. And then you get 19 in the city, 26 on the highway, and 22 miles per gallon combined. Try to start it up with the remote start. Hopefully it worked for me. So you got the LEDs right here and the lights. I don't know why remote starts never want to work for me. I'm going to go ahead and get in and start it. I'm going to give y'all this exhaust note real quick. We'll talk about the interior in a few. You don't have dual exhaust on this one as well either. a little exhaust note to it nothing too major after all you'll be hauling family around in this anyways so sixty six thousand dollars we're gonna talk about that in a few <laughs> we are definitely gonna talk about that 
not only that, I'm gonna talk about that and I'm gonna explain why. We got the V6 engine right there, 295 horsepower it is. 3.5 liter. With the CVT. Ah, my hand's cold. So take another look. Close that up. And uh yeah, 295 with the 270 foot pounds of torque. And let's go ahead and get in it real quick, talk about this inside, and talk about that $66,000 price tag. So right here, you got soft touch material in here with the diamond stitching, with the cream interior as well. Soft touch material down here too, cup holder and storage. So right here, this is real wood. I can see that, I see the striations in it. It's just like a glossy look to it. Automatic windows everywhere memory seats got the diamond stitching on the seat very nice take a look at the dashboard and everything very nice vehicle overall let's go ahead and get in it also the infinity door seal lights up in this one as well nice solid thump to the door so right here you got like a, if you ever been in a Nissan Altima, you have that same like um, gauge layout as well. That shows you the, the vehicle right there. So right here you got your buttons where you can cycle throughout. This is supposed to be for the uh, radio as well, but this one right here is for this menu right here. Um, as you can see, it's saying the tire pressures. You got your fuel economy, driving audio compass warnings and settings and all of that stuff then you can cycle throughout that with this right here so you got your maintenance body color whatever that is oh so you can change the color of your car i guess on that little screen and then you got alarms and different things like that welcome note all of that good stuff so right here you got your heated steering wheel you got your sensors right there that's your sensors button all of that stuff you turn that off and turn it on turns off all your sensors around the vehicle as far as your pre-collision and all that stuff you got your uh, main you know for your 12 volt charger you got the tailgate and attraction so I'm kind of glad that my videos did delete <laughs> I'm not kind I'm not glad <laughs> let me not say that I'm not happy but um the thing is though i recorded that on my gopro and like i said in the um the q50 video it was very dark and in here i see the difference night and day from this camera to the gopro this camera is just so much lighter in dark areas so right here this is not soft touch that's soft touch it's like a leather it's still kind of hard but it's like i don't know it's stitched you know it's not like plushy soft like how you get in other luxury cars and this is just like plush soft now real wood carried out throughout there as well you got the dual climate controls up here you got your audio your maps as you can see it's in your maps right now you don't get apple carplay or android auto or none of that <clears throat> you get the regular you know bluetooth audio all of that good stuff you got your cameras right there as you can see it's flashing and let you know you're back by the showroom change views just like every other infinity as well you got different apps that you can download you got your driving performance that shows you your fuel usage um all of that stuff let's just take a quick look into that real quick see now that's <laughs> That's just a little bit too slow. So you got your fuel usage right there, as you can see, fuel consumption, fuel flow. You can go 365 miles on a full tank, which is what we at right now. Your performance meter, cornering G, steering, G-force, fuel flow, all of that good stuff. Um, you got your in-touch services, your eco drive report, traffic information or maps and all of that stuff, Sirius satellite radio. Down here you got a CD player right here. You got your typical buttons to control it. You got the nice infinity shifter right here. Now right here you got sport mode, which is what is in now. Then you got the standard mode, which is that little dot. Then you got eco and snow mode. So then you also get heated and cool seats, cup holders, 
two U <clears throat> a USB and a um, USB Type C. <laughs> USB Type C and a uh, regular USB. Then you got the 12 volt charger right there. You got your glove box right there, nice and spacious. Goes all the way back. Then right here, this is a two part thing. So right here, you got your video in, you got your SD card, and the two USBs, and the 12 volt. Nice little storage. Also, you got your other upper part of it. Diamond stitching on this as well. Now this DVD player, this CD player is probably used as a DVD player too for the, the entertainment package that's back there as well. Now, this interior, I'm not gonna lie, for 2019, it's kind of dated. Even for, I'm gonna say, we can go back as far as 2010. This interior feels just dated. Like, it's a nice truck on the outside, SUV. It's a nice SUV on the outside, but this interior just feels dated to me. Um, the screen, as you saw, it was a little bit slow. The maps, even, the maps just look kind of old. Once you've been in the Audi, after I reviewed those Audis and stuff, no, no, nobody's maps look as crisp. They're, they're like killing it with the technology as far as that. But this truck is $66,000, right? I'm not sure how much that, um, that Q7 that I did, I, I want to say it was like 70 I, I want to say it was like seventy-two thousand to seventy-eight thousand or something like that, but I mean I'm pretty sure you can you can work something out and get it for cheaper than that. But thing is, sixty-six thousand dollars. This doesn't. It's not showing me nothing for sixty-six thousand dollars because for the simple fact you're gonna be spending at least almost a thousand dollars a month when you add in insurance and all of that stuff for the car note. I mean it just doesn't. I mean, it has the features, I guess, for in the back, which we're about to get into now. You got the sunroof up there, the panoram the panoramic roof back there. But it, it just doesn't feel like a $66,000 vehicle. Then you got your glasses holder, typical buttons right there with the SOS, the vanity mirror with the light card holder up there. And let's get in the back and we'll continue talking from there. Same materials on this back door that's on the front door as well. Got the bowl speakers in here as well. Got a text message, let's see. Okay, there's nobody important. Um, nice seats, nice and soft as well. So let's get in here real quick. Now this seat right here, this driver's seat is all the way back. Leg room is still good. Now you got the, the eight inch monitors on the back of the headrest right here, both sides. You got climate control back here for the back seat riders. And this right here, these vents are tiny. You see what I'm saying? Sixty-six thousand dollars. So you you gotta definitely shop around when you when you looking for these luxury SUVs. Cause with this vehicle having a third row, typically they don't even put these right here. When there's a third row, typically, it, even if they do, they probably put something in the, the the pillars and stuff up here. There's no vents up here, so that means who's ever in that third row is gonna freeze or burn up. Unless you got the AC just blaring or the heat or whatever. 12 volt charger right here. 150 watt charger right here. Wall charger. 12 volt charger. Buttons and stuff. Controls and stuff for your uh, entertainment right here. You got an HDMI heated seats back here too. Now I'm not going to sit in this third row because last time uh, when I reviewed this vehicle. Because this is my second time doing it. I had a hard time um, getting back there. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to just do it because... That's me. I, I got to show y'all. So, right here, you got your cup holders right here in the center. I'm going to get out this door. Because I remember they had stuff in the back seat back there. You got the cup holders right there, too. Let's go ahead and get out real quick. Slide that up. And let's get back here. So, that's $66,000. Let's get back to that. So, third row, I mean, knees are kind of up there with that seat being up. It's probably going to be a tight fit back here. So, lead us to the kids. Um, you got the USB over there, cup holders. USB over here, cup holders. And, um, yeah, leg room is going to be kind of tight. So, lead that to the kids. Don't put a grown person back here. Panoramic roof is very nice. Touch back here. Mats. You got your cargo room back there. 
And uh, yeah, man, sixty-six thousand dollars. I would say shop around unless you're just a Nissan Infinity enthusiast. I mean, you do get a lot of features in here too, though, as far as safety features and all of that other stuff. But sixty-six thousand dollars, man, that puts you in another uh, another vehicle bracket as well. I mean, you're already in a luxury vehicle bracket with that that money. But I'm saying, to me, is it worth it? Nah, not for me it's not. But to each his own. It's a nice truck though, SUV. And then you have the CVT, which you have to think about too. If you don't like that, that's definitely the deal breaker. When you got other, you know, competition with eight to 10 speeds in a transmission. So, but yeah, man, just like that, this video is over. See y'all in the next.